proving that the Lee County Code Enforcement Agency is crooked. There's the documents. There's the aerial photos from the property appraisal's webpage that we, our American taxpayers' money, paid for that proves everything that I said. I'm one that I don't say something that I can't back up and prove. There's your proof. Now, whether it's still on these uh, county records, that might be a problem finding because they've known about these uh, documents and photos for uh, a few years now and they still do nothing. Somebody, no, we the people of Fort Myers, Florida needs to have these people investigated and when they find out that they are crooked, get rid of them without servants pay. Fire them with prejudice. That goes for you, Dave Paschill. Because you're the head of this company. Take the head off the snake and guess what happens. Quit wasting our tax money on these people. Let's get this neighborhood cleaned out the way it's supposed to have been done years ago. You think I'm lying? Prove it. I've got the documents here on my computer. They can't erase them. A piece of paper, this document I got from the county uh, back from here. This is for a complaint about uh, American Boeing and Trenching, Inc. having commercial vehicles parked on their property. And this is what the county has. Storage of commercial equipment on agricultural zone property is not, I repeat, not permitted. And that was in 2015. And American Boeing and Trenching is still operating out of that same freaking residence. This is an aerial photo I got from the, uh, right there. That's uh, Property Appraisal's own webpage that I got this from. Showing that all these commercial equipment and according to the zoning department, there's only supposed to be one structure on this house or property that has a permit. As you can see, they just build whatever they want. They don't need permits. Another aerial photo from the uh, property appraisal's webpage right there. As you can see, he's got multiple dumpsters sitting on his property. He's got multiple buildings sitting on his property and he's running a dumpster business out of our back of our neighborhood here on Staley Road in East Fort Myers, Florida and uh, the county code enforcement says that they can't see the property because he put up a privacy fence that he got fined for 50 bucks because he put it up without a permit people do that here in this uh, neighborhood here they they think they're above the law an aerial photo of Johnny Pervet paving that's right here on Staley Road just before you get to the turnaround down there right there now according to the county code enforcement they're not supposed to park these heavy equipment in uh, non-agricultural vehicles these are commercial vehicles as by the way there's a, there's a front end loader, there's a front end loader, there's a grader, you got two dump trucks, there's a low boy, oh, and these are gas tanks they fill up their own trucks with, one, two, three, four, five, five gas tanks, they uh, have a company come out and fill them up about once uh, every two or three days, and uh, 
as you can see, the county knows this. That's right. Dave Paschill knows this. He has all these documents. I sent it to him years ago, a couple of years ago, and they've done nothing. Like I said, this is aerial photos you can see for yourself on the uh, property appraisal's webpage. Like, really, people? Why are we wasting money getting these photos taken if they're not going to do anything with them? It's a waste of our tax money. Here's an aerial photo of Juniper Tree Farm, which is in the back. It's called Duke Farms. Juniper Tree Farms is in the front. Like I said, this is a photo from the property appraisal's website. I watched them bring these... There's six trailers right there, all tied together. And there's three over here. I watched them bring them in on a Saturday and a Sunday. That's right, they brought them in there on a Saturday and Sunday with no permits. And as you can see, they've got them set up. they got power to it without permits. And the county knows it. I showed them. But they were the, the guy that came out to inspect it, he was denied access to the property. Now, who's, who's the criminal there? The, the code enforcement agent or Juniper Tree Farm and Duke Farms? Which ones? Who's the criminal? Please. I would like to know. And the people of this neighborhood would love to know. And here's the complaint that was filed. No permit. Construction without a permit development order. Comment. Still no permit or DO. And guess who closed it? Right there. He closed it. Without even investigating. Even trying to investigate. No. He don't want to. This man is crooked. I'm sorry about where they uh, tried to get access to the property to investigate. There's the code officer. He was, uh, no violation per DLP, denied look on property. No violation because he couldn't get on there to look. Really? Really? Are you, are you, Jesus, Christmas people, and they closed it without even investigating it because they wouldn't let them on the property. I'm sorry, that's just not right. We need new code enforcement agencies. Property appraisals webpage right there. This is the same video a while ago where they were showing this here. Look at all these commercial vehicles parked on agricultural property. Look at it. These buildings here were put on there without a permit. Look at this. Look at this. And they got more now. Another document from the county code enforcement agency right here. That's uh, Johnny Prevet Paving and Sons. We turned them in for having construction equipment parked on the agricultural property. Open storage of commercial equipment, dump trucks, earth movers, so forth, loaders. Commercial equipment is not permitted in agricultural zoned property. Well, why ain't they doing their job? They're still doing it. And that was uh, taking, that was done uh, at least uh, three, four years ago. And this is what the property appraisal, I meant the code enforcement agency got. And then they closed the damn complaint. 